This week, we'll be talking about a resume tip regarding formatting. One thing you do not want to do when you start to create your resume is go to Microsoft Word and choose a template. You also don't want to go to Indeed and build a resume on Indeed. Instead, you want to start by formatting your own resume. Employers tell us this is very important to have a well put together create resume. So I'm going to share with you on how to format your resume. You want to start by choosing a blank Microsoft Word document in Microsoft Word. It's really important that when you are using this blank Microsoft Word document that you are not choosing a template and you're formatting the document yourself. You'll choose the paragraph option here. You'll set your spacing to zero point spacing, single spacing. Then you will go to layout, choose half inch margins. This allows you to use the entire page when it comes to your resume. Now, every resume that is created needs to include a header with your name, address, email, and phone number. You also need to include your professional skills, education, and work experience. If you have volunteer experience or club involvement, you could also add that section. To separate your sections, you want to use bolding. That way, each section will stand out on their own. You want to choose 11 to 14 point font. You also want to make sure that your font is an easy, readable font. A Calibri or an Arial work best. You'll use bullet points. You will use columns and you will use outlining to create your work experience. As you are typing and as you are formatting this document, you also want to save as a PDF file before sending to an employer. So you want to save your resume as resume um, with your name. Choose PDF as the type. This ensures that the employer is seeing the same thing on your page, on their page, as you see on your page. There's a quick resume tip for you. If you want Employment Connections to review your resume and help you with formatting, please schedule an appointment.